three fathers were the first generation of Jews to go to Ivy League colleges. Doc Don, by a biological, to Harvard. John Stepp to Yale, majored in cutting a rug. <laughs> and Bunny, the most improbable, from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, where his immigrant father sold dry goods to overseers and their lonely wives, catching a midnight train to New York City, to become a classmate at Columbia of Lou Gehrig, the, the luckiest man on earth, playing catch years later with the son not his, my mom, blonde California shiksa goddess, had a type. All those people have passed away. Their great granddaughter sings the prayers in Hebrew. These are Hendeka syllabic sonnets. That means 11 syllable lines if you're keeping count. No premeditated rhyme scheme. This one continues the personal history theme, and it has an epigraph from Pablo Neruda. Don't worry too much if you don't speak Spanish. It's translated in the last line of the poem. Y fue a esa edad que la poesía vino a buscarme. Fall 56, my stepfather invited a Yale classmate of his to stay at our house in Westport retrospectively to dry out, lay on the side porch smoking Chesterfields, asked me to read him poems of Catullus in Latin, Delicie Mee Puele, told me I read very well. Retro Gadar locates him somewhere north of Frank O'Hara. <laughs> he must have taken a regretful pleasure in hexametric surfaces of meaning, voiced by a lad he was not allowed to touch in a language that no one speaks anymore. I imagine he died of his addictions at that age, poetry came looking for me. Hot. Hot sexuality is the epoxy that binds our life stories as we do -si do with sweet, smiling strangers out of Genesis. But after procreation, it's no longer evolutionarily advantageous. No marriage stays voluptuous forever. We usually react to this news badly. Affairs can provide a hit of that hot glue. Trophy lives and guys who come on sincerely. The more unavailable, so much better. No human hand need touch the naked product. Two clicks gets you there, whatever your fetish, raven, or dinosaur totem you've nailed up under the eaves of darkness where the blood sings. Not. Six or 
eight sufferers after a meeting. At the sushi place, we later boycotted because of the rat voyeured in the kitchen. <laughs> One, yay, one young gay Chilango, which is a person from Mexico City, one young gay Chilango going on and on about the guy who dumped him, was there a chance? And the other guy, he noticed at the gym how part of him wanted to throw himself at the one guy and part of him at the other till the half samurai with the deep bass voice, equally gay but with less intonation, told him, it's not all about you, honey. <laughs> and the Chinango, it's not as if that were a new concept and the whole table seemed to be vibrating in the heart of space. This is um, uh, for my granddaughter. Diego, are you, are you a grandfather? No? I, I'm probably the only grandfather in this room. Grandmother. Grandmother, oh yes you are, good, good job. But think of the math. You all have four grandparents, and yet only two of us in this room are grandparents. Is, that, is there something illogical about that? It's, it seems strange. So, this one is uh, my granddaughter who is six, looking at the new moon through uh, the telescope I got her for, the, for her birthday and the moon looking back. The sun's rising on the west limb of the moon reflected, refracted, and seen through your eyes whose fractal molecules resemble my own through the telescope I bought for your birthday. Up, if that's the correct preposition there, from a silhouetted rim of crater mountains, a blue globule dangles the horizon. Earth with her germ load of complex bacteria, especially in this case, you observing outward and inward, neurons weaving unique configurations not to be forgotten. The Earth is like a six year old girl who looks through a lens at that pale bow drawn back against sky whose arrows, once loosed, might pierce eternity. <laughs>